Hello all, Scott Grove here. Um, this here is a video just for only a couple people. So if you are a uh, fan of the Telecaster, I would get out of here right now because I'm uh, about to piss some of you off if <laughs> you're a Telecaster fan. Um, all this is is just a um, to catch people up to speed who are my friends that ask me to go ahead and show them my crook Telebird. No, I did not name it that. The people at Crook Guitars, the same people that make the guitars for Brad Paisley and a few other folks. Um, the Telebird. I rehashed it and cut it up and threw away the old bridge. Didn't throw it away. I've got it actually here to show you how piss poor it is, even though it's most Telecasters, people's owners' wet dreams, which I totally hate, which is why I only own one Fender Telecaster now where I four months ago owned about 70 of them. <laughs> um, the only telly I've ever had that was worth a crap ever, 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 were my six James Burton Signature USA made ones. Great guitars. Superb. Um, I should probably get another one just to have it again, but then again um, they just take up space and I'm just grabbing a few extra guitars, so I sold a bunch of stuff just to get um, guitars that the wife can sell for more money, you know, when I die. That's it. Okay? So, um, the only telly that I have in the house, period, and which is my uh, good old buddy uh, Merle Haggard, the tough dog telecaster, and of course even Merle. I should say even Merle. <laughs> was bright enough to have six saddles on his bridge and no no place for a stupid ashtray junk cause you know you gotta play back here and with that stuff up on the sides you can't you can't pick back there so brilliant normal bridge okay um, so Haggard got that one right you know su superior as far as a two pickup guitar can be as far as the telly goes so have I ever taken this to a gig yet? Nope. Will I? Probably not. I just don't like to pick up guitars and neither should... Well, neither should I. <laughs> I like what I like. I've got a whole bunch of two pick up guitars around here, but again, just strictly for reasons of insanity. No, just because I like the sound of a Strat and not much else, but I can't stand Fender guitars. Okay, the only other telly shaped guitar I have around is one that was custom made for me and just amazing acts of course the guitar and caster okay with my three silver I went with gold I forgot with three gold lace sensors and of course I would not let the uh, original bridge be used I had to go for the six saddles just like the other one so superb 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 acts and then there is this thing that I'm playing, which of course is shaped as a Firebird. I've got my real Firebird, my 1964, the year I was born, right here for people who haven't seen it, but um, just cool axe, um, as mint condition as you can get. Um, paid through the nose for it, but maybe it'll, you know, help the wife pay uh, the mortgage here, you know, for a couple of years after I croak. Okay, anyway, enough for show and tell. Um, so the crook axe here, what did I do to it? Well, it originally, for those two of you who are probably still viewing, um, which are going to be mainly Justin Spicer and a couple other buddies, Gerald and so forth. Um, you guys are the ones I'm doing this for, so um, you want to see it? You got it. Okay, so what I did was I went ahead and kept the tele I'm sorry, the Firebird pickup here that Crook had in it. If I could do one more thing, to, well, I'd do a lot more to it, so I might still do it. But I threw that silver lace sensor right here in the middle because there was no metal pickup. Okay, and then I changed the bridge to a Babix 
bridge. There you can read it. Okay, there you can read it better. But you talk about a bridge that has a million places to adjust it. I am the most in tune some bitch around that has a tally style bridge. <laughs> okay, a full contact bridge, and when they say it, they mean it. And it's like aluminum, very lightweight, and just sustains for flipping days. The uh, difference was night and day between this and the Callaham bridge that was on here, that piece of crap, which I'll show you. I kept the um, Kenman pickup here in the bridge. And it'd be a nice sounding pickup. And I, like I said, I kept this, which were original. And what Crook puts on all of their um, Tele birds, which I talked to Bill Crook the other day and um, just trying to get a real case for this instead of the Epiphone case that got shipped with. And he says he don't offer cases for these because he don't hardly sell any of them, which is crazy. But if he would make more that. Uh, <laughs> I guess you can always customize like I did, but as far as getting them done your way, I guess unless you're Brad Paisley, you don't get them done your way. So that's all I can say about that. So now it's almost my way. Okay, so that's all I did. I just put the uh, on and off switch for the metal silver lace sensor. Uh, silver lace sensors are designed to sound like the old 70s ones, but with some more um, volume. Okay, so uh, they're like a 7.2k output, I think. 7.1 or 7.2 as opposed to the 5.4 on their golds. Okay, so they have more balls to them, you know, more bottom end, more mid range focus, and still the same amount of high bell like chime that you would get out of um, any other single coil. But of course, all again with zero noise and almost zero. Uh, magnetic drag that you get from both these other pickups. So to make this perfect I would put three single coil silver lace sensors in it all together but lace does not offer anything other than a gold for right here. They don't offer it in any other combination of any kind in the world which sucks major balls. So had to live with the Kenman which like I said doesn't sound bad and this being not as dark and dismal as most humbuckers, the mini humbucker, um, it's got that bright twang to it that the uh, old 64 up there has, so it's a welcome addition. I kept the three position switch, didn't have to change anything there, just the uh, two way for the middle pickup, and I'm good to go. Everything else is like a tally back here, you got your ferules there, um, blah blah blah, the old style. Clusen type tuners. So, if I would change anything, first it would be the fretboard, get rid of that nasty rosewood garbage, and put some maple on there, and probably even do it up in the same finish that the uh, rest of the guitar is done in. I think it would be gaudy as hell, and that's what makes it beautiful to me. You know, just got a few guitars I had made up, and I had the uh, maple fingerboards painted. Same color as the rest of the body. Looks great. Tastes great. Less filling. Anyway, so the uh, Callahan bridge that comes stock on all these that even oh, Brad Paisley still uses. I don't know how he gets by with it. Um, I'm just a guy who likes to be in tune. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but this three saddle bullshit, even if it's compensated like these, um, no. Only one string, or one set of strings actually worked out, where it actually worked in tune even with all this crap. So I would imagine with Brad Paisley, he's he's a gear nut and a half, and um, I would imagine that he has Bill Crook take a little more time and actually file these compensated saddles to where they actually are in tune. Um, I just can't imagine him allowing himself to be out of tune on at least two or three of his strings. Okay, so, and then it's got that horrible, horrible time, um, I don't know how telly players do this either with that stupid ass edge up around here. Most ridiculous thing ever. Okay, so I think it's just a total waste of time, a uh, total waste of space, it's a waste of, it's like God, it's, you know, 
over 60 years later, let it improve. Okay, so here you have a guitar you can actually play right back here, which is very important to me, which I will show to you. Every single, it's an ama the most amazing bridge. I, I don't think I'll ever use another bridge other than the Babix bridges from here on out. They are that good for any style of guitar, except for when I do uh, any kind of a strap thing. Um, I will just 100% anchor it down because I don't use any whammies anyway. They don't work unless they're a Floyd. So, anyway, I know there's a, anybody who has stuck around to listen to this is bitching. Well, my three saddle Callahan works perfect. It's like, I don't know, everybody's strat whammy stays in perfect tune also. Um, anyway, so I call horse shit on all that. Um, I told you to turn this off. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I get to all these resonate against each other. It makes for a beautiful thing. Uh, for people who are guitarded, a guitar body on an electric was never, ever, 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 ever meant to resonate. It was always designed to suck up your tone and not resonate. It's there to kill everything. Uh, guitar pickups, which were microphonic way back in the days, were meant to pick up everything within your hollow body or semi-hollow body guitar. But for the last 50 years, they haven't been meant to do so. So they don't. So they don't pick up anything other than your string vibrations or what actually affects your strings, which are the which is the alloy of your bridge, the alloy of your nut. I would love to get me a roller nut put on here, so I'm going to do that. That's the next thing to do for sure. And um, I might even actually see about getting this fretboard pulled off and having a maple one stuck on. Okay, that's just how much I hate rosewood. It's just the dirtiest wood around. Collects more dirt than anything. Um, and other than that, I'd like to get a TBX tone pot put in. And then maybe a parallel, ser series parallel push button uh, S S1 switch put right here into the old volume knob. And then I would uh, be groovy. Um, so anyway, so here's the uh, guitar now just the bridge pickup everything clean I'm not doing any distortion because quite frankly there's no tone in distortion uh, you can tell what the guitar actually sounds like okay so <laughs> Kenman by itself. Okay, and yes, I have my boss compressor on as always. Okay, now add in the middle pickup with it. Ah, uh, finally, get my three pickups. Pure goodness right there, kids. So the Kinman and then whatever the hell this is. Still reminds me of a telly and not a sound I've ever been uh, popular with is any two pickup guitar. So that's the two stock pickups. Um, here's all three pickups. So kick the middle one in. So here's all three, which I love. I love to be able to get all three pickups. the next.
bag pick up by itself. Okay, so your humbucker, your mini humbucker. <laughs> pickups. Now add the middle pickup in. Yay! thing okay so that's what I've done with it the main deal is um, like I said the big problem with having the side of this bridge on here for country pickers like myself um, there's just so much tone to be had by where you play at I don't want to play over here on top of these pickups all the time <laughs> There's tone back here. So you're playing right, I mean like right next to the saddle. Okay, so I use this here for a lot of the stuff where I use my thumb on the back of the headstock just to bend the neck. Okay, so whether it's um, white lining, White Lightning by George Jones. Okay, it's just great to be able to play back there with those other kind of bridges. You can't do it. You just have to turn your treble up even more and then play up here and hope for the best. Um, but I like being able to play hither and thither, so um, it's totally opened up everything to be able to play everywhere on the guitar now, so it totally suits me, which is a beautiful thing. So to the couple of you who even care that I am even showing this, um, that's what has been done to it, so um, that's the axe as it stands now. Again, as uh, Mr. Spicer knows for sure, um, Nothing can beat the lace sensor pickups. They are just some of the best pickups ever, ever, ever made for, well, for anything, actually. Um, lace doesn't make hardly any of the pickups that I think are even worth being put in a guitar. But the lace sensors that Don Lace, his dad, put together, wonderful. Then as soon as the kid gets a hold of the company, then it goes to crap. But at least he didn't get rid of dad's work. So there you go, the crook. Telebird in mid reconstruction, but at least it's usable to where it sounds, has all the sounds and all the playability, and stays in, well, can even go in tune, let it alone stay in tune. So, next thing we'll do too is also get rid of this stupid tr string tree thing and then put some hot, high compensated locking tuners on here so you never have to deal with string trees. That's just more another place for friction. Get rid of that nut, put on the LSR roller nut so no more friction again. Um, try to have this fretboard pulled off and try to match the... I can probably get a hold of... Uh, oh, who has them? Uh, let's see, Forrest Lieb can probably get me this, this paper here. And I can have the neck done and the hunter green sparkle paisley too that would be too cool on the front of the fretboard so those are the plans and then the other electronics I was telling you about but the major work has been done again Babix bridges if you haven't checked them out uh, do so right here on YouTube get actual videos of these bridges and how they work and how they are so much better than anything on the market for any guitar yes they have replacements for every guitar ever made so and there are more adjustments here than you can imagine and they are all thought out well you don't even have to have the uh, two screws that were actually here on the Callaham 
they're no longer even necessary. So this is going up for sale right on YouTube, like, right away. You know, it's just came off the new guitar and has no business. I mean, look at that. And then, bling, hey. <laughs> okay, so to my buddies, there's where we're at so far. So, hope you enjoyed checking it out. And it's only going to get better, you know. So, um, I'm a happy pop. I did, I did all the work myself, cut... I'll cut the hole in art, art class. <laughs> Did all the wiring myself, which takes no time at all. So, yeah, it's actually uh, so livable with now. And this will be gigged all the time. This is a gigging guitar, not a collector piece, of course. Otherwise, I wouldn't hack it up. But it's going to be hacked up a lot more before it's completely to my satisfaction. But looking forward to it. So to Justin and the couple other guys that wanted to check this out, along the way of being uh, Frankenstein, can't remember what Justin called it, uh, uh, the fire, fire birdized or whatever, I have to go back and look at my notes, but there it is, and uh, you guys play well, uh, keep the Third Stone Odyssey band going, my man, awesome group, and um, show you on the next video, okay, talk to you when I see you, bye.